Hey everybody, Kelly Alexa here from Fitfluential and wanted to just share a fast tip. Um, I've been doing some videos and, and people ask me a lot about um, what shoes I recommend for working out, but also what clothes I recommend, what I like, what fits nice, especially ladies are always asking me this. Men tend to be not as picky but you should be picky. Um, I did wanna share what I think are some really important and simple tips for how when you invest in some really good quality fitness clothes, um, you know, don't, don't buy the cheap stuff, but when you do buy the good stuff, how to take care of it and make it last longer. So before I go into just a few of these simple tips, let me just rewind and reference what I said a second ago when you know I'm telling you to buy the good stuff. When I first started working out, you know, I mean, years and years and years ago, I would, you know, I think I, I just, I automatically looked at certain things, whether it was, you know, nice fitting workout pants or sports bras or shoes. And, and to me, it just seemed like such sticker shock um, to look at maybe spending, you know, $100 for a pair of workout pants or, um, you know, $75 for a top. It was just like, yeah, so I just had that thing of, I'm just gonna buy stuff that's, you know, and I would go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls and don't get me wrong, I still shop there all the time. Um, I just tend to maybe not buy as much of my workout stuff there. That's a lie, I do buy some stuff there, but I'll tell you the kind of stuff that I buy there. Generally speaking, when you're gonna be spending as much time as you are in the gym and even wearing this stuff out and about, especially if fitness is your business, um, you want something that looks great, it feels great, and it functions. And in that way, I've learned the difference between buying key items and only buying stuff, you know, at a, whether it's going to like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls or whether it's getting stuff, um, you know, maybe at a lower end store, you know, I shop at Target, I shop at Walmart, whatever. And there's certain lines that are there that are not, you know, if you're buying a shirt for $8, it's not gonna be the highest quality fabric. Now you might look at it and go, that's fine. What I noticed in the early days is when I would buy sports bras that weren't by a, a brand name maker, you know, they started to, to dig in, they started to not function, they started to kind of rip apart in the wash, the underwire would poke out, and you know, it's kind of like buying cheap jewelry, right? If you buy gold plated jewelry, maybe those earrings only cost $20, but because it, it rubs off, you're gonna be replacing those $20 earrings like 10 times a year. So you're spending $160, I hope I just made that calculation correctly. You're gonna keep replacing it instead of buying one pair at $150 one time and then not replacing them because they're pure gold. It's really the same concept I found in buying workout clothes. It can sometimes be a sticker shock. I understand that. There's a lot of great brand names out there um, from the mainstream brands, you know, like the Nikes and the Reeboks and the Under Armors to some of these great fabulous new brands um, that are coming up. For example, I'm wearing a, a client of Fitfluentials right now. This is Hailey, their um, hoodie. This is Hailey tank tops, Victoria's Secret sports bra. Um, so I use a wide range of both big brands and new brands, but what I will tell you I've learned is buy quality, invest the money up front. You don't have to buy a ton of product. Um, you know, you don't have to buy like 70 pairs of pants, right? But buy quality, and if you take care of it in the way that you wash it and store it, honestly, you can make this gear last a long time. Um, you're still gonna probably end up with an addiction to certain brands that you like, but one of the simplest things that I've found that's a great way to keep the higher quality, um, whatever it is that you're gonna buy, tops, sweatshirts, pants, workout shoes, whatever, is to really take care of the way that you wash it and the way that you dry it. And the reason I'm doing air quotes when I say dry is for my practice, pretty much what I do with all workout gear um, is I'm going to wash it delicate cycle in my wash. I'm gonna wash it with cold water. Um, obviously I don't do anything different with my detergent. I do use fabric softener. Um, you may or may not want to use fabric softener, but I always do cold. I do a delicate wash so I can put all my sports bras in there too. So you want that machine going pretty slow because especially ladies, if you're using sports bras that have, you know, an underwire in it, you don't want that <laughs> machine like turning it around and messing it up from hell. You don't want that kind of activity. 
Delicate cycle cold water. Then when your wash is finished, honestly, I hang dry pretty much all of my all of my workout stuff. Um, I you know it can be a little pain because you know my guest bathroom just will have workout clothes hanging all over it. I'm going to tell you this, especially for sports bras, you should never ever 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 put your sports bras or any dra any bras in my opinion in the dryer. They should hang dry and they will last so much longer. They're not going to get bent out of shape. Um, but really everything else, if I have a um, a hoodie like this, I'm going to hang it on a hanger. If I have my workout pants, I just throw them over the um, the shower rack and let them hang that way. Or you could hang them with the clippy hangers so that they're hanging down. Um, and then tank tops, I actually have a hook, several hooks, you know, up uh, in my washer room, and then I just hang them by the by the straps. That's an easy way to do it as well. Sports bras the same way. You can do it any number of ways, but honestly. I feel like that, not putting all those clothes in the dryer and having that high heat, which I think it tends to fade them, it adds the pilling on some of the products, it just keeps them being babied. And I have had really good luck. In fact, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I'm wearing a pair of pants. These are from Otomics. This was the first fitness brand that I ever fell in love with back when Billy Blank's Tybo came out. I mean, so this is like probably 15 years ago. Um, and I remember that I saw them and I liked these pants because back then, I mean, this is years and years. I mean, this is a long time ago. They didn't have as many cool brands that weren't making, that made clothes that fit women that didn't have really, really like a very thin elastic band that would dig into your waist and create a muffin top. What I liked about Otomics pants is they had these workout pants and it was also like really kickboxing oriented and Shelly on the Billy Blanks um, Tybo Advance Live DVD, she wore Otomics. So I was like, if Shelly wears Otomics, I need to wear it. And they were very expensive. I looked the pants up and I think each one was $85, $95 and I had sticker shock but I wanted to feel good in what I was wearing. I was working out five, six days a week. Um, I was tired of buying the crappy stuff that was falling apart. And, and I spent more time like adjusting and fixing and moving things around with the cheap stuff. So I pulled out my credit card and I ordered five pair of these uh, Otomics pants. And sometime over the next couple of years, you know, I wanted more. I think I ordered three or four more. I am not lying to you guys. I am not. Ex I'm not working with Otomics. They're not a client. Um, because I have washed those clothes in the same way that I have told you, some of them have. I did throw a couple of them out. They've lasted me over ten years, and they still uh, fit me the same way. They are still completely black. They're not faded and looking weird. They haven't stretched out. They don't have weird pilling on it. Um, that has, so in other words, think about that. I invested in those at like 80 or $90, but we're talking about like years and years. If I look back and think about when I bought it, it could be 10 years, people. So I feel strongly if you baby your clothes, this will let you feel a little bit better about invest in the good stuff. You know, go look at some new brands that you like and, and get something that you feel good in so that whether you work out at home or not, uh, or whether you work out at a gym, you're gonna wear something it's a remarkable difference when you feel good, you like what you're wearing, it's comfortable and it's functional. But I'm telling you, if you take care of your clothes, avoid the dryer at all costs um, and just baby your fitness clothes, they'll be around for a lot longer than you think. Those are my number one tips. Delicate cycle, cold water, always air dry. Amen.